Hello guys! In this lesson, we finalize the whole the equation uh, on the MATLAB simulink application. And so the controller uh, can be performed on this lesson. And so, in order to create a new system model, we should add the MATLAB function log body in here. And so, the name of these things will model control. And then what? This is also wheel model control. In order to create a state space application or the in order to obtain the time response of these things, and so the Z dot should be produced by this <coughs> equation mode or this wheel model control with the state parameter. Because in this meta function, we should produce the z dot and integrate the whole the term and fading into the what the z parameters in here. In order to create a reference signal, we should add the t value as a time parameter in that condition, and general constant uh, can also be added to here in order to use the m function parameter. In the previous lesson, we drive the whole the general constants, and so this general constants uh, coming from the what the workspace, okay? And so, in order to create the integral term, we should define the a int value in here. What about the output of this function? Output x ref out should be given to the system in order to compare the two value, and so torque out should be fed into the out session and so e out should be given to the matlab simulating output session because we need to collect or integrate this term and fed to a int value in here okay and so what about uh, these notations in here and so we need to add the integrator in here like this one and so we need to fat the z value in here there are two states in our model and so we need to give the two times one vector to the initial condition with the row parameters okay and so uh, we need to, uh, also the collect this term in order to integrate or sum the total error in each time and so we need to add uh, another integrator in here like this one this a int value is directly used for the pid coefficients because the integrator means that the or integral term in the pid coefficients ke times the total error summation okay and so in the in this place we should sum the e value with the integration factor and we need to put this integration output into the MATLAB function or the model parameters how can we use the general constant from the workspace parameters and so we need to add the constant value in here like this one <coughs> and so this constant linked to this general constants and the name of these things should be changed with the general constant matrix in here, base vector, and we should check out this interpret vector as parameter 1D and apply in these things. And so we can use the this general constant on the MATLAB simulating application by using this constant block. Okay? And so T can be fed into the system like this one. The clock should be at in here okay and so these are the total code in here and so we need to build the or some write code on this meta function block okay first the system variable can be defined by using these things x is equal to what z11 because the first term is the position x dot is equal to what z2 dot 1 okay and so constant can be given by like this one i x is equal to the what general constant first parameter because in the in this model 
the first term i ek second c ek kp kd and ki and so we need to use this general constant value in the proper order okay and so we need to return these function blocks in here i ek should be equal to this one c ek should be equal to the general constant two one and kp is equal to the what general constant three one kd <coughs> is equal to the general constant four one and so ke is equal to the what general constant five one okay and so we have obtained the uh, whole the coefficients and constants coming from the initial init function the wheel controller design m function and so we need to define the reference signal in here <coughs> in order to create the reference signal 0 0.1 is a frequency period in here x ref is equal to the what 5 plus 1 times sinusoidal 2 time p time f time t and so we have a sinusoidal signal with some bias value and so in order to create the proper order of these things x ref dot should be derived by using this term and so 2 times p times f times 1 times cos 2 times p times f times t and so x ref dot can be generated by the derivative of this term with respect to the time okay and so uh, controller rule can be given by these things e is equal to the what x ref minus x e dot is equal to the x ref dot minus x dot okay because a dot and a are needed uh, for the pd coefficients because the a times p or proportional coefficients and so kd times e dot should be used in order to create a proper pid coefficient factor okay and so what about the torque value torque value can be given by these things <coughs> kp times a plus kd times e dot plus ke times a int or integral term okay and so integral term at each time the output of these things output e out should be fed in each iteration by e because in this place e out is equal to e and so the output e out is equal to the e and so integration collect the whole the values of these things and so a int is the representation of the integration of this e value okay and so this is our torque and torque value should be equalized to what to torque int value okay torque int means that the internal torque value of these things and the torque is the real torque in our system okay and so this is the creating the input value of the system and so system parameters can be defined by the a 0 1 0 c ek divided by i ek okay and so b is equal to the what b is equal to the 0 1 divided by i ek okay this is the state space parameter of these things and so we obtained the in the previous lesson like this one in the state space form okay this coming from the state space of the system for a wheel model and then we can calculate the total output session with this notation like this one z dot is equal to the what a times z plus b times torque value okay and so x ref out is equal to the what x ref and torque out is equal to the what torque value okay these are the complete code in order to generalize the or apply the PID controller design on the wheel model system. And so, it's not that uh, I remember that uh, these things, or you should notice that the constants coming from the general constant matrix, uh, which is initialized by the specific M function. This is the easiest way to build the general constant matrices in here. Okay, and KP, KD, and KI 
are calculated with the basis of the what selected root on the S plane. Okay, and so the reference signal is in here, and xref dot is needed for the E dot creation because the KD is proportional to what to E dot value or the derivative of the error with respect to time. And so torque int can be created by using these things, and so the PID controller is done in this study. Okay. And so uh, we can test our algorithm in here. And so we need to with the D max value in here, like this one. The D max is set on this parameter. And so we need to add the MOOCs value in order to compare the reference signal and the position signal in here. And so we need to add the scope value in here, like this one the scope of this parameter in here and so we can observe the total torque value applied on this system okay and so if everything is okay and then the reference signal xref out and the position value is same through the time okay <coughs> and so if i run this program and then we will get the result of these coefficients like this one this is run and so there is no syntax error in here and so if I open this scope value and so oh the proper controller is accomplished in our study okay this is the our real position value of uh, these things or the this <coughs> wheel model and so the five can be tracked by our algorithm by selecting the proper torque value but how about the torque value torque value is equal to the what oh 10 over 4 and the uh, 50 thousands newton meter and so this is not imp impossible to, to apply the any system on this proper value and so we should condition the torque value by using the if else block in here because any actuator cannot give to the system as the 50 thousand newton meter there is none actuator in the universe okay and so if torque value is equal or is greater to 10 and so torque int must be equalized to 10 okay this is the saturation value of our algorithm torque int value if smaller than 10 newton meter minus 10 newton meter and so torque int should be equalized to 10 okay and so if i run this program and then what about our algorithm give us the compensation is done and so the 10 parameters in here and so oh we have the unstable character on the PID controller okay what's the problem of this code now this code problem now is that the PID coefficients are so strict or the so hard <coughs> which means that the roots are so fast and so the actuator cannot be reach to its level and so if we choose the smaller selection of this root like this one 12 8 and 4 and then the system PID coefficients is slower like this one and so if I run again this program and then I can obtain the real-time characteristics but proper real-time characteristics and so if I run this program, oh, we cannot use this notation in here also because the torque value is like this one. Hmm, okay. And what about this? How can we obtain the proper selection of these things? The system tells me if I'm run on this torque value, 10 value is the saturation value, I cannot control it. Uh, okay. This is a prediction of our system and so we can redesign of this torque and such as for example you need to choose the 50 
thousand fifty newton meter motor or the actuator is needed for system and so if I run this program and then what about the system results on this plan and so if I choose the 50 Newton meter motor or the actuator that provide us and so I can control this system this is wonderful because in the model in the simulation I can predict to what kind of motor or actuator needed for me because if I choose 10 value in here and so I cannot control it this is a huge advantage to design the mechatronic system okay because the PID coefficients is okay or the everything in theory is okay but in real time we don't obtain the any reliable results but if I choose or if I use this MATLAB simulink application model and so ah okay I should choose the actuator providing up to 50 Newton meter this is the main advantage of using the system dynamic and control theory okay as an engineer we should utilize these things like this one okay this is our general proper notation of this value of like this one and so if we choose like these coefficients in here and then we can control the PID coefficients it's hard to learn everything on the PID but this is the basis of the PID controller design and so in order to set the proper PID coefficients on the real life application uh, you should start with like this real model control model okay and so these are the end of the lesson I hope you learn about everything that I said in this lesson have a nice day